Hey, what's up everybody? It's Bald Guy Ace, and today I'm going to show you guys how I make between 15 to 20 million coins every single day by using the Forge. I'm going to show you guys what items I sell, but just in case that money method gets ruined, I'm going to show you guys what you can actually do to figure out what the best things are to make. That way you can continue to make money with the Forge even if the prices of different items change around. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the first item that I use to make money in the Forge, but before I do that, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm getting so close to YouTube rank, and if you guys can just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, you'll get me one step closer. If you're already subscribe, you can also help me out by clicking like on the video. So let's get right into it. The first item that I use to make profit in the forge is the gemstone mixture. You can make the gemstone mixture by using four fine jade, four fine amber, four fine amethyst, and four fine sapphire gemstones. You also need 320 sludge juice. Even though it only shows 256 sludge juice here, you actually need 320 of them. And as you see here, for me, it takes two hours and 48 minutes to make one gemstone mixture, but it might be a little bit longer for you if you don't have the forge perk selected on your heart of the mountain tree. Let me just go ahead and show you guys that really quick. If you go over here, right over here is the quick forge perk. And if you max it out to level 20, it will decrease the time it takes to forge items by 30%. If you don't have enough mithril powder to max it out, don't worry about it. Just level it up as much as you can. And while we're on the heart of the mountain, one other thing it helps to do is to level up your peak of the mountain until you can get that one extra forge slot, because that definitely helps out as well. And so as you see here, I actually have five forge slots that I'm able to use. And so what I would normally do is to fill up all five slots with gemstone mixtures. Then I would wait the two hours and 48 minutes. And then as soon as it was done, I would collect them all. And then I would sell them on the auction house. By the way, you may be asking, how do I actually make the gemstone mixture? So what I actually do is just buy all this stuff off the bazaar. So what I usually do is I'll buy the instant buy price because I don't feel like waiting to get like a 1000 coin difference. But if you're patient, you could do that and you'll make even more coins. And the way that you would find out if this is profitable is you would add up all the prices that you plan on paying for these gemstones. And then also what you're going to pay for the sludge and then see what the price is on the auction house. So what you see here is it's 32,997 for the instant buy, then 43,276, then 39,671, then 42,241. Then you got to multiply that by four. Then you want to go buy sludges, which is under the slime drops section here, sludge juice right here. And if you use the instant buy price, that's going to be 2,460 times 320. And when you add all that together, you get a little bit over 1.4 million coins to make a gemstone mixture from scratch. Keep in mind, I was using the instant buy price. If you want to have a little bit more patience, you can put in buy orders and then you'll actually save even more money. For instance, if you did decide to use buy orders and you were patient about it, you could actually get gemstones for 1.3 million instead of 1.4 million, making yourself an extra 100,000 coins for each gemstone. So it all depends how much you want to wait. But just to show you, you can still make money even if you insta buy the stuff. I'm going to assume that you spent 1.4 million to make a gemstone mixture. And then I just looked up gemstone mixture, sorted it by lowest price. And right now, as you can see, the prices are actually a little bit lower than they normally are. They're definitely going down because a lot of people are starting to sell these. That's why it helps to understand how the forge works so you can find better things to sell. But even right now, you would still make a profit. So you'd make 350,000 coins per gemstone mixture. But this is assuming if you want to sell it at the very lowest price, you can probably go ahead and sell it higher and it will still sell. What I actually like to do is sell it in bulk. And that tends to get you the best prices. So if you go all the way up here, if you sell five at a time, you can sell them right now. The lowest price is 9 million. So that would be the equivalent of selling them for 1.8 million each. But if you go over here to 10 gemstone mixtures, the lowest price right now is 19,500,000. And that would be like selling the gemstone mixtures for 1,950,000 coins each, which is a lot better than selling them individually. And as you can see here, if I go back, I literally just sold this uh, a little while ago. So it shows that it does actually sell at that price. So this was actually combining two groups of five together, obviously. So you may not have enough coins to do that. But if you do have enough coins, I would advise selling them in groups of 10 because it tends to sell for a higher price. Of course, until everybody else starts doing that. So you always got to look at the auction house first before you decide what groupings to sell them in. But if you are able to sell it in a group of 10 for this price, that means that you would make a profit of 550,000 coins per gemstone mixture. That means that every single time that you make five of them, you're making 550,000 coins times five. So you're essentially making a profit of 2.7 million coins every single time you do a batch of five. If you have your forge maxed and it takes two hours and 48 minutes to make them, that means you can do it about eight times per day. But of course, you're going to have to sleep. So let's assume that you do it six times per day. If you do it six times per day at the profit that I just got, which was actually lower than I had been getting, but you would still be able to make 16.5 million coins at that price every day. That's every single day. Now, even if you don't do it that often, you're still going to make over 10 million coins every day. So it's pretty amazing uh, as far as profit because you don't even have to do anything. You're just going into the bazaar, buying the stuff, which takes like two seconds, going to the forge guy, 
go in here, making the gemstone mixture, hitting confirm five times, and then waiting a few hours. You can do other things in the game. You don't even have to be on the game. And it continues to forge even if you're offline. You might ask, why am I not forging stuff right now? The only reason I'm not forging anything right now is so that I can actually go in here and show you guys the different items. Because if the forge was actually being used, it wouldn't let me actually click here to show you the different items that we can make. So now you might say, like, what if everybody else starts selling gemstone mixtures and the price goes down? Well, that may happen. So if that does, what you want to do is be able to figure out what else you can sell. So there's other things that you can sell. So you can also sell any of the perfect gemstones. And that was something that I also did earlier on. Uh, I haven't done it as much anymore. But what you can do is you can basically, all you have to do is look at the price of the flawless gems, multiply it by five, and then see if it's less than the price of the perfect gems on the bazaar. If it is, all you got to do is go to the forger, go to refine ore here, and then go to these perfect gems and actually just click the gem and actually craft it. The only thing is you do have to have a crystal that you got from the crystal hollows. The easiest one to get is the bow crystal and the bow crystal lets you make a flawless topaz into a perfect topaz. All you have to do is kill bow or just go to an area where somebody else already killed bow and the topaz crystal will be there and then you can just use it to make yourself a perfect topaz gemstone from the flawless gemstones. You just need five flawless gemstones to make a perfect one as well as the crystal. So to see if you were going to make a profit on this, let's see if we, let's just assume that we instant buy it, even though what I would probably do is put in a buy order because you can save 300,000 coins per gemstone right now. But let's just assume we instant bought it and see if we can still make some profit. So it's 3,628,314. Let's buy five of them. That comes to a total of 18,141,570. And if you look right here, perfect gemstones instant sell right now for 20 million coins. So that means you're making almost 2 million coins per perfect gemstone that you make. And if you go to the forger here, you can make five of them. You just have to keep going down and getting another crystal from Bal every time. So it does take a little bit more work on your end because you have to keep going into the crystal hollows to get the topaz crystal. But once you get it, you can come up here. You just go to refine ore. You go to the perfect topaz gemstone and then you just click to confirm and then it will actually start making the perfect topaz gemstone. As you see here, it does take 14 hours and that's if you have a max quick forge. If you don't, I think it takes like 21 hours or something like that. So it does take most of the day. Um, either way, let's assume it takes the whole day. Even if it does though, as you saw, I would make 2 million coins per perfect gemstone that I make. And that's assuming that I instant buy and instant sell. I could make more if I bought it as a buy order and sold as a sell order. But even so, let's assume I only make 2 million coins each. That's still 10 million coins every 14 hours that I can make. And even if I don't do anything else the rest of the day, that's still 10 million coins every day that I can get by selling perfect gemstones. And if you're somebody that likes to get the different crystals, you don't have to necessarily do topaz. You can come over here, for instance, jade is actually even more of a profit. If you instant buy flawless jade right now, you can get it for 13.1 million coins and you can instant sell it for 17.1 million coins. That's a 4 million coin profit per. So if you did that, you would actually end up making 20 million coins per day if you were able to get enough jade crystals. Just keep in mind that the prices are always changing. So you always want to come to the bazaar and check the prices. And if you're going to be doing gemstone mixtures, you always want to go to the auction house and check the prices for gemstone mixtures before you start making a ton of them because you don't want to end up losing money on the deal. You can technically do the same thing for any of these items. You can also do item casting as well. Uh, it's just a little bit more complicated because it takes a lot more different items to make these drills and things like that. But all you'd have to do is just calculate how much it would cost for the raw materials then go to the auction house, see how much the things sell on the auction house. And if the drills sell for more and you don't mind waiting the long amount of time that it takes to create them, you could end up selling your drills and stuff like that and making even more of a profit. So you can make tons of coins by using the forger. Um, but the simplest ones are, of course, the gemstone mixture or turning your gemstones into perfect gemstones and selling those. If you have any questions about what I'm talking about today, make sure that you join my discord because people are always there that can help answer your questions. I'm always there as well. So I will do my best to answer any questions that you have. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I'm always posting money making methods like this. And if you're subscribed, you'll be the first person to find out when I post a new method. And that way you can do it before it ends up getting ruined by other people. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until my next one, I'm Bald Guy Ace reminding you to embrace the baldness.